Hello there, this is Jonathan with DSS Motion bringing you another Megablocks review. This time we're looking at a brand new Halo 5 set from the summer line of 2016, the Covenant Wraith Ambush. This is set number DPJ93. It has 640 pieces and should retail for about 40 to 50 pounds. This set comprises of the Halo 5 Wraith itself with a firing mortar cannon. You get some extra ammunition for the uh, mortar here. You get an Elite Commander, you get a Storm Elite, and you get a Spartan Hell Jumper with some modified armor pieces. You also get a nice terrain piece as well. So it's a nice rounded set. You get a great good versus evil kind of theme here. A great new vehicle, and we'll go into details now. Taking a look at the Wraith itself, as I mentioned, this is the Halo 5 Wraith. It has the organic bulbous design seen in game, and it does recreate it pretty well. Uh, as you can see at the start here, you've got this nice kind of curved canopy. Um, it doesn't really close quite flush. Um, these parts here, this panel and that panel, uh, they collide. Um, I have worked out a modification to uh, solve that, um, but... It, it just creates a smaller door, but it is a bit of a design for because it doesn't kind of close. It leaves a bit of a gap around here um, that could do with filling in, which I've done on a custom. It is a bit of a shame that they didn't realise that. But as you lift it up, it's got a big cockpit in there. Now, it looks absolutely huge in there. It's just a big kind of hole of, in the middle of the tank. Now, unfortunately, the uh, figure can't really sit in there. They are pretty much just lying um, horizontally on the floor. Uh, with them just kind of like leaning back and looking. Um, it's a bit of a shame. Uh, I think it's like these kind of bricks here that kind of like collide with the figure. It stops the hatch closing at about that point. Um, so it is a little bit of a shame that that's happened. Um, but I have worked out fixes again and it is pretty easy to work them out yourself. You just kind of kind of have to remove a brick or two here at the back um, just to create a little bit more room. Um, they did kind of like create a seat for the figure. Um, in the back, I don't know if you can see it, it's like some kind of slope blocks there. Um, it's a bit of a shame because th if you remove those, you have more room for the figure. If you follow the instructions um, to the point, it, you're losing room and it's a struggle to get a figure um, in there. It's so, it's up to you how you want to build it, but it's definitely a nice spacious canopy. You've got little control sticks for the uh, figure to grab hold of anyway. Some nice printed detail um, that you can't really see, which is a bit of a shame. They are kind of against the walls on each side. But other than that, it's, it's a simple little cockpit. And it works fairly well. I mean, as long as a character can fit in there, which granted they do lying down, but they still fit in there. So you can't complain too much. It's not unlike, say, previous ones where it's been real struggle to kind of force a figure in. If we just close that down, uh, you have the pivoting uh, plasma cannon up here. A character can sit there. Now, they've not used the typical tube section that rotates, because normally this like kind of would rotate. It's just the cannon itself that would. Um, I assume that they did that to keep the scale down, because the tube takes up like a lot of deep room. Um, so if you were to fit that in, it would affect the whole back of this build. So I suppose I'm glad that they didn't do that in the end. If you, as we rotate around, you can see that there's this nice kind of blue detailing on the uh, kind of hover effect. Uh, these pods do completely rotate. They're on these same joints as the uh, scarab legs inside there, if I just rotate around. That's the same joint as the scarab, so they do have a nice range of movement. You can rotate them, you can flip them, and they do pull off fairly easy if you wanted to like, kind of do like a battle damage version. Uh, you also have these flaps as well. These rotate fairly well. Uh, they can rotate around and a little bit inside and... So, they are quite delicate though, the clips that they've used, they're quite thin, um, I am worried that they may snap if you keep kind of, um, you know, pulling on them or something like that, so I would be careful that once they're plugged in, I would like kind of leave them plugged in, rotate them around sure, but like when you, if you're trying to take it apart, it may risk fracturing the parts, so I'd be very careful there. Now as you can see here, you have the uh, plasma cannon, that's on a hinge, it has these hinged flaps as well. Uh, these kind of just fold in. The whole thing does kind of compact down and these uh, doors do close on it as well. Um, but if you open it up, um, I don't know if you can tell, but this is actually a uh, rocket launcher. So if you were to load in a missile, uh, you then pull back on the, this little catch here. And if I'd have plugged it in normally, it would have actually fired out. But I decided not to because I thought, oh, it would shoot me in the face. But yeah, you get the point. As I rotate it round, there's some nice um, sculpted detail here with the uh, nice like sculpted vent here. Um, nice blue tint to it. Just adds to the exhaust authenticity. You got some exhausts underneath as well. The kind of little pieces there. 
Uh, that's really, really nice detail. And uh, it's a symmetrical design, so it's not one side like the Scorpion tank from Halo 5 is. Um, and this section here is for you to plug in the uh, extra ammunition. They come on little silver clips, so they can just plug down the side. I leave them off because it looks a bit odd having, like, blue missiles hanging off the side. But it's there if you want to do it. It's a nice design. It even has the authentic um, overhanging back. Uh, there's nothing there, um, and it, it, it's not back heavy. They've put a lot of weight in the front, so it stays and doesn't tip. Um, so again, Maker should be commended for that. And ultimately, it's just a fantastic rendition of the Halo 5 Wraith. Um, this was obviously kind of inevitable as a set. We got the Halo 5 Scorpion last year, so they had to do the Covenant counterpart, and it really does not disappoint. Taking a look at the terrain piece now, it is made up of the uh, two mid-sized terrain plates at the bottom. Uh, but you have a nice uh, selection of these purple uh, plants here. They all have little plugs in, so you can move them about if you want. This is how the instructions recommend it. Um, you can pull that off, that's a weapon capsule. You can fit a weapon inside it if you take the lid off. You've got a nice little mortar here. This is a Halo 3 mortar in a Halo 5 set. Um, so I will be pulling this off uh, after this review because um, I like keeping my sets related to the games but it's still a nice accessory. We've not seen it for a while so it's glad that it's, um, it's good that it's entering circulation again basically. Uh, you also get this really really cool uh, destroyed mongoose section or I should say gun goose. Uh, this section here gives it away the bulky front. There should be guns there. Um, but obviously being destroyed, they've not put them on. It's just a fantastic little build. It's basically half a mongoose. Um, it just plugs into the ground. Uh, you have the little uh, wind mirror here. Um, you've got the front kind of damage piece that kind of hinges about. I don't know if I just tried to lift it up. So you can like kind of pose where you want this damage, like, if you wanted it sticking up. Or if you wanted it folding down like I had it. You can have it however you want. You get some nice extra spur bits. Um, there's probably enough there to build a desert called Mongoose. If you did want to um, get some wheels from a previous Mongoose release. I imagine the Gungoose and the uh, Emil Mongoose are still widely available for you. Uh, they are for me. Um, so if you did want to get an extra set of Mongoose wheels. You could definitely mix and match the parts to create a desert Mongoose. But as you rotate it around, you also get this nice kind of destroyed wall section. Definitely suggestive that the Wraith's been kind of bombarded in this section. So I'm really glad that they've done this, as it just adds to the authenticity. And it gives you a nice little display piece, because you can put Spartans hiding behind it, or Marines. It's just really nice piece, and I hope that we see more of these in the uh, future sets. Because we do need more terrain and more kind of buildings, just to get the point across that it isn't just a empty landscape that we're fighting in in Halo. In Halo games there's always buildings or terrain pieces that make it exciting so it'd be good to see Mega Block sets represent this a lot more. So taking a look at the only UNSC figure in this set, this is a Spartan Helljumper. Now this is a reuse of the Spartan book body from the uh, Scorpion tank last year, except it has uh, Gungner shoulder pads now. It has a nice printed Fireteam Stingray logo um, on that shoulder pad there. So again suggestive that you're meant to put this with the Fireteam Stingray set. It's a nice little figure. It's a shame about the shoulder pads as... You've got an ODST style chest piece, ODST style helmet. It's a shame that they've missed off those shoulder pads. The ODST look is very iconic to Halo. I don't know what they're doing featuring these uh, shoulder pads in this set. So it is a bit of a shame. I would much prefer the uh, shoulder pads for the ODSTs featured in this. Uh, as you can see, it also comes with the target locator and a saw. Now this weapon is from Halo Reach, but... You did use a version of it in Halo 4, but still, again, inaccurate to versus this armor. But it is an obscure piece nowadays, so I'm glad that, again, that it's entered circulation again like the missile pod. Now, as I mentioned before, the Covenant figures in this set are a Storm Elite, though, and an Elite Commander as well. Um, these figures have been used before. We saw the Elite Commander in the recent Covenant Watchtower from the uh, Spring lineup, and this Storm Elite's been uh, was the first um, SP super articulated um, elite that we saw. Uh, the armors this time are cast in a nice metallic silver. It's kind of on par with the uh, Promethean customizer pack that we got late last year. Um, it's a nice metallic silver. Again, um, it's not accurate to the games. Normally these guys are in blue and these guys are in like a red burgundy kind of uh, color. 
but the silver makes these guys really, really stand out. It makes them almost like Elite Ultra-esque kind of thing. I really do like them. Um, it's probably kind of washed out in how metallic they are um, from the lighting, but the, they are really, really, really metallic, and I just absolutely love this color scheme. I hope we see this kind of color used on other figures. A metallic Spartan like that would look absolutely fantastic in my opinion. Uh, and on these figures it's no exception, it's really good as well. Uh, as you can see the weapons are the uh, brand new energy sword. Uh, that's the same sculpt that we've seen from series Bravo onwards, so they're not using the old one anymore. And you also get another storm rifle, no changes to that weapon either. Um, but it's still a nice weapon accessory and it's the typical weapon in Halo 4 and 5 for elites. So it's good that they're paying attention in that respect. So overall, you get two nice figures, and they fit really well in the uh, new Wraith as well. Uh, you can mix and match if you want who is the gunner, who is the driver. They both fit in just as equally well, uh, so no complaints there. So overall, you get a fantastic new set here. The new Halo 5 Wraith, absolutely fantastic build. It's cool to see it released finally, and it's just a really, really fun set to have. The terrain piece, really good. I hope we see more. It really adds to this set, especially with the Wraith kind of destroying all that kind of thing. You can imagine. It just really adds to like the believability of this set. The figures are absolutely fantastic. Spartan Hell Jumpers, they're a fan favourite already, so it's cool that we're finally seeing this um, used outside of Spartan Book. And the Elites in that silver are just really, really good. So I'd highly recommend this set. It's a great army builder as well. Uh, you, it, there's tons of wraiths in Halo 4 and Halo 5 with the uh, Storm Elites. Um, so it's, it's definitely recommend that you pick up at least one. Try and pick up more if you can. Uh, it definitely looks cool having a few of them teamed up against the UNSC. Um, it's just an absolutely fantastic set. So that's it for this review. I hope you've enjoyed it. We'll be reviewing more Halo and Call of Duty Mega Bloks in the coming weeks. So we have a few more summer sets to take a look at. Um, and we're definitely excited about showing them off to you. Uh, so don't forget to like, favourite and subscribe. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye!